West Kowloon Station is a high-speed train station that terminates in Hong Kong. So when we did the project, we considered it as the gateway of Hong Kong. These trains will connect Hong Kong to 44 destinations in the mainland, including Beijing. There are two components. We have the short haul tracks and we have the long haul tracks. The high speed trains are actually faster than the TGV, faster than the bullet trains in Tokyo in Japan. The most interesting thing about the project is that it has immigration facilities for both Hong Kong and China inside of it. So you'll go down an escalator, you'll go through Hong Kong immigration, you'll go into a duty-free area, and then you'll go through China immigration. This was a competition and we approached it with two different goals. The first one is that it is a below ground station. I've been around the world and I've been in a lot of below ground stations and they are very uncomfortable. You have no idea where you're at. And it's not until you get into a taxi and onto the street that you have finally figured out what city you're in. So we worked very hard to organize the spaces. The immigration halls were stacked so that it's extremely efficient so that we were able to create a big void. And the big void was delivered so that right when you arrive, you can see through the south facade and you can see the Hong Kong skyline and you can see the peak. And you know that you're only in one city. You're in Hong Kong and that's it. That was our first goal. The second one was a whole roofscape. We wanted to try to create a new landscape, a new park, so that the whole thing was accessible. And it became apparent that the civic gesture that we were making provided green space to a very dense city. The station provides three hectares of green space to the whole surrounding area. The station is around 400,000 square meters of usable floor area, mostly below ground. Facing Victoria Harbor, the green plaza atop the station is designed for public leisure, with hundreds of plants and shrubs planted to create an amazing space for visitors. So the intention of the project is that there are different phases to it. You can look at the south facade, the glass facade, and it does not feel overwhelming, but yet it has a power to it. The Green Plaza, you almost don't even realize you're in it, that you're in architecture, you're on the building. You almost don't even know that. You just kind of flow out and up and through it into this park that was deliberate so that it's not something that one has to tackle, but something that one just flows through. And what's nice about this is when you're in this environment, you actually don't know where the groundscape is. You're going down 20 meters, you're going up 25 meters. But the whole point is that you're flooded with light and you don't actually realize you're below ground. To me, I don't do anything that's not about people. Hong Kong is my home. I wanted to do something special that showed the beauty of this city when one arrived. You know, the first thing one will see and we wanted it to be very, very special. <laughs>